Thank you for joining us tonight for C3. We are excited about being in the New Testament and seeing what Jesus did and what Jesus has called us to do. And this past weekend, several people from our church, in fact, over 200 people from our church came out and participated in what we called Christ in the Community Day, which was an opportunity for us to go out into the community and serve and to do some things here that will eventually allow the community to come here or have projects here that went out into the community. I wanna share a passage of scripture that we shared uh, the morning of Saturday before we went out into Christ in the community. It's taken from Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. Hear these words. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd she separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? He will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. This passage of scripture lets us know that we never know when who we're serving or who we're helping could actually be Jesus himself. And this past weekend, we went to so many places and did so many different things. And really what it's all about when you're part of a church is how you use your gifts to help serve others. So this week on C3, I wanted to just take a minute and I wanted to hear from some of the people that were actually serving and we asked them the question, what does it mean to serve? Take a look at some of the responses we got from some of the people that served this past weekend. Uh, serving just means to, to help people out when they can't do stuff themselves. I think uh, serving is uh, finding a need and then answering that uh, need by helping out where you can. Serving to me is kind of being there for the for somebody else, whatever needs to be done, gets done. Uh, and I think that was one of the commands to go, go forth uh, from Christ. You know, he said, go forth and serve others. And so we're following that commandment. Uh, serving means helping where people need it most, uh, being able to be the light in somebody's cloudy day helping them feel better and to make a difference because we are all in this together. And if we don't do the first step, sometimes nobody will take the first step. So we have to be the, the guide sometimes to help people and to serve and to make the world a better place. I think serving is giving of yourself to help others. Well, serving is being the hands and feet of Jesus and um, it's what the church is all about, to get out and serve. I like helping other people that you know need it more than we do. I just really like helping people. This is what we're doing. For me, serving today is a chance to set a good example for the children, to get them involved, to show them that 
The attitude with which we come today is more important than the job we're doing. Um, that this is a way to express love for our neighbor. It's a way to be unified within our church. It's a way to feel a part of this church and a part of our neighborhood and connected. Um, I really hope that the work we do today truly impacts and touches the lives of everybody who we're helping. But I'm also excited because I know that God will, that they'll be blessed and I'll be blessed too. Serving to me means giving back to God what he has given to you and to help other people realize how good a loving God can be. Helping others in need and helping others that, you know, and showing them that Jesus is love alive in the world. Amen. Serving to me is fun. Well, this particular issue here means a lot to me because I have a grandson that really used drum and drum house a lot. He's been uh, in uh, Johns Hopkins many, many times. They live in Louisville, Kentucky, so he's used that uh, facility. And it just was a uh, blessing. Really it's being the hands and feet of Jesus. Doing God's work and helping others who, who need it, who need assistance and can't do things on their own. It means following, following Jesus' words, following what he said, following what's in the Bible, being a servant, whatever way you can. Well, I always feel better when I'm doing I'm able to do something for somebody else. And so when and you guys all organized it, so it wasn't even that I had to put a lot of thought in the beginning of it, but um, I just really enjoy doing things like this for somebody else. <laughs> Matthew 28 says, you know, go and be there for all nations. And this is kind of a way of doing that. A serving um, is, is Christ's work in action. So serving is an opportunity to um, worship God in a whole different way. Uh, it's an opportunity to share Christ's love with someone else or a lot of other people. And when you do it together as a team, it's uh, way fun. So it's, it's a wonderful way to worship and uh, a great way to spend the Saturday morning. Isn't that powerful? So many different ways to serve, so many different people serving, and so many people look at serving a little bit differently, but it all comes down to the same thing. Giving up of ourselves to help other people. It's just like the scripture that I read when we started. You know, this world is all about what title you have. What is your title? What do you do? How important are you? Well, when we study the ministry of Jesus, Jesus calls us to serve. And at Christ Church, the reason our mission statement is building inclusive community, sharing Christ's transforming love, is because we want to go out into this world and not worry about what our title is, but we wanna go out into this world and serve others. Because when we serve others and meet their physical needs, they will stop long enough and listen to what we have to say to have their spiritual needs met, which is the most important thing, sharing the love of Christ with others. But if we wanna do that, we have to first be willing to serve. So hopefully, after listening to all these different people share why they are serving, it is, excited you about ways you too can serve. And you can always go to our website and see all the different opportunities for serving. We're gonna be doing all kinds of things in the, in the weeks and months to come to give you opportunities to serve. Coming up in November, we're gonna be doing a spiritual gifts study so we pe people know what their gifts are and where they can best serve. But it's all about us getting on that path to doing what God has called us to do connecting with him, connecting with each other, growing as a follower of Christ, and then giving of ourselves to serve others. If you haven't seen all the pictures from Christ in the Community Day, I want you to go to our website at ChristUMC.net and scroll down and you'll see a button that's thanking everybody for helping and click on that button and you can see all the different things that was done 
over this past weekend. And if you missed out, don't worry, there's gonna be lots of more opportunities for you to serve. But remember, in God's kingdom, it's not about what title you have, it's about your willingness to give up everything to serve those who are in front of you. So I invite you to join us in doing that as we become a church of service here in the South Hills, sharing Christ's light with the world. Thank you for joining us for C3 tonight. We're so glad that you took the time to do so. Don't forget to get plugged into things. Our Wednesday night uh, dinners are coming back. Uh, so make sure you sign up for that and sign up for a class and all the things that are gonna be going on on Wednesdays at church. You can find that on the website as well. Have a great week and we'll see you in worship either online or in person this weekend. God bless.